Hello guys, it's Minglef back again. I really hope you enjoyed the Wizard NPE part 2 that I released some days ago. And huge thanks to Prons for letting me edit his uh, NPE. There is a continuing video on his priest and will come in some time. Not in the close time, but soon enough. If you haven't joined my 4000 gold giveaway that will end in about 2 weeks, be sure to join it down in the description as always and let's get into the video. So at the Friday we can expect something from DECA and today they announced a producer's letter that was a little bit time ago since they did uh, the last one and have done now a recent one. First they talk, talk about the past year since it's been one year since we've had uh, or the exalt launcher was released and them switching to a unity from flash so it's just uh they're they're talking brief about what happened in 2020 ancient ruins third dimension all the new sd sets agent of orcs items o3 new class and all that stuff they also talk briefly about the the prevention of bots in Nexus and hackers and uh, saying how they are working more on that even though they've done some work already with the bots for example. But later they say it's no secret that the shatters has been extremely polarized in dungeon for a long time. We aren't holding back on this rework and li like with all reconstructions we don't want to let the past hold us back from what is best for the game from a design perspective. However, although we are being extra ambitious on all fronts to give you the shatters, the quality and professionalism it deserves, we still wish to be true with the spirit of the dungeon when salvageable. So they've actually showed us a sketch of the shatters map and this looks really interesting. Instead of having uh, like a long uh, dungeon, they will have it taller like, like it will go from bottom to up instead of left to right i think that's a better uh choice than the like vertical uh shadows that we have now all it works kind of like secluded thicket if you could say that but let's start at the first stage we have a spawn boat then we have a little safe zone i think that is meaning uh then we will have a village modular i'm not sure what that is maybe i think that's just some settings with the, some enemies to clear um before the bridge sentinel so they it seems like we will have the bridge like we have now but i think the boss fight will be much better in, instead of staying at the corner and just save spotting then we have a castle courtyard modular i'm not sure what they mean by modular maybe that it's different versions that spawns every time i'm not really sure then we have alchemy uh, chamber uh, plus castle rooms modular so seems like we have th four rooms at the corners and then we'll like one middle room i'm not sure what that could be but i guess the boss fight is in the middle and maybe enemies come from all the different corners not sure uh, but i think that room itself with the five rooms um, can be really interesting to have in a boss fight and uh, hopefully they can do some cool stuff with it. Then just before the throne room uh, where the third boss is we have the grand hall. So I think it could be looking like the Deadwater docks right now with the like room before the boss which is like nice and some enemies. It looks like it's gonna be pillars in the room. I think that's gonna be nice looking maybe like the gem spoke boss room. Doors open to let royal guard in. So ah, okay maybe you, when you're in uh, like when you in, are inside the grand hall the doors open from the throne room and then the royal guards are there maybe hopefully we can have some more fun royal guards or challenging for uh, royal guards than we have right now those two are like not really that interesting then we have the throne room and yeah this looks really nice and i like this uh, from deca it seems really nice even though it's very minimalistic right now and not as detailed i think this looks really nice it, and I think I think they have a real good plan on how to execute this rework. They also say later, but that's not all that we've planned for Month of the Mad God. We are working on two completely new mechanics for the game. 
The enchantment system will take your gear to the next level. Equip, equip items will have a probability of dropping with enchantments. Enchantments are a bit of a staple in an RPG. They allow you to customize your gear to levels beyond imagination. You will be able to personalize, personalize your favorite sword or armor and have it be really unique. There will be many enchantments, some of them more generic, others more specific to unique item types. So it looks like we're gonna have enchantments to items. And I mean, that I'm not really sure if that's a good thing, but it seems that it's gonna be a lot of different variations on the enchantments. So we, let's look at the picture they gave us here. We have a mighty bonus to attack plus 1% or 3%. Es esoteric bonus to whiz, brisk bonus to vitality, long shot, lifetime of we weapons projectiles increased by 25-35%. That's kind of interesting. Destructive maximum damage of weapon increased by five or ten percent. Uh, always nice with more damage, I guess. The cooldown after using this item is reduced by 40 or 50%, and that could be really useful for some items like Oreo or something where the cooldown is pretty long so yeah it looks really nice and uh, i hope it won't be too powerful for the game the the last thing they tease about in this is the dungeon modification system so there is gonna be a chance or like a chance for a dungeon to have harder enemies so and you can give get better loot uh, or better XP for the enemies or something they're saying. For example, we could have different versions of Lost Halls where the enemies are harder and tougher or easier or less frequent. Or what about the dungeon where the water is lava? The possibilities are endless. In general though, more powerful dungeon modifiers a dungeon has, uh, the better the rewards it will provide. So it looks like it's gonna be granting you more loot if you choose the harder path. But it's so basic right now, so I can't say if this is the final touch and they're, they're saying that as well. This is just the plans and I, I'm happy they're telling us this. But I, that's everything about this blog post. And I really like the thesis for the upcoming month of Manga. We have enchantments, we have the shadows rework. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. I'm so hyped about that. And then we're gonna have the dungeon modifiers. So it really seems like they're wanting us to have a unique uh, play of the game. Like you can choose what the enchantments and what dungeons you want. And I like that because more unique stuff, it's better for the game. And I, then you can play the game towards a style that you more like. Maybe you want safer enemies and less loot, or you, you want to fight harder enemies inside the dungeon to be granted a higher percentage of loot. So I'm all for customization and it looks really interesting. Though I'm not really sure on the enchantments, I think that could be kind of broken with some items like Oreo and no, I'm not really sure what other items has long cooldowns, but let's say cloaks or whatever. But um, it's up to Decca and I guess we'll get teased more about when Moth of the Mad God in 2021 will hit, which is probably around July and uh, August. I think they won't um, prolong it any longer. But that's everything for today guys, if you liked the video, like the video of course, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later, bye bye.